everyone and welcome back to my channel today's video is a little bit different uh, compared to the videos that i've been making these past few weeks i woke up this morning and just had the strong prompting that i should make a faith-based video um religion is a really big part of my life and i think it's something that the world needs to hear more of. In today's video, I specifically want to speak about prayer and the importance of prayer. These past few years have been really difficult for the whole world because of the pandemic that we went through, that we're still going through. I feel like a lot of people turned to God even more than before, which is a great thing. But I also do think that that shouldn't stop just because things get better in the world or in our lives for a season. Prayer is something that we need to implement in our day-to-day -day lives because it really does have so much power. For me, ever since I was younger, I was brought up in a praying household. I was taught to pray when I wake up in the morning, when I go to sleep at night, before I eat my food, and in any and every situation. I was taught that I can have access to God through communication. And that's what prayer is. Prayer is a way for us to be able to communicate with God. Even though we cannot see him physically, we can speak to him and he wants us to communicate with him. I recently had a conversation with someone that I work with and this particular person expressed to me that she had not prayed in years and she felt in her heart that it was not a good thing and that she wanted to change and she wanted to start praying more and we started having this discussion on on prayer and why prayer is, is so important there are so many reasons why prayer is important an example that just came to my mind is of jesus christ when he was in the garden of gethsemane atoning for our sins and he prayed to god for for strength and for, for comfort and for help, which can link to one of the reasons why we pray for, for help. You know, um, we all go through different challenges in life where we need that strength because we cannot handle it or we cannot do that specific um, task on our own. We can also pray for direction. We can pray for strength through difficult times. But as much as we pray for help, which is a good thing, we can also offer prayers of gratitude, thanking God for the blessings that we have in our lives, for our families, for our friends, for our health, just for the gift of being alive, um, for our job. We can pray for our neighbors. We can pray for people that we don't even know all around the world. Prayer is limitless. There is no limit to prayer and who or what we can pray for. As much as we want to implement prayer in our lives more often, it can be challenging because we live in a world where we are just always busy, we're always on the go, you know, with work and school. And sometimes life gets in the way without us even noticing it. You know, you might go through the week and realize that you've only prayed once and you never even realized it until the end of the week. And you're like, oh my goodness, how did I let that slip my mind how did i forget how did i get so busy i think that we shouldn't feel ashamed or embarrassed to admit that to admit that life sometimes just becomes so overwhelming i think that it's important however to find a balance i remember an experience where i was getting ready for work and i left the house in such a hurry because i had woken up late and i had not even remembered that I needed to pray so on my way walking to work um, I think I was halfway and I realized oh my goodness I forgot to pray and I felt so bad I felt so uncomfortable because it's just you know prayer is just such a part of my routine that when I don't pray I feel like I'm missing something and I was like okay what do I do and I was and I just told myself okay I'm just gonna pray now as I'm walking to work because I know once I reach work um, I'm going to get too busy and too distracted that I won't be able to pray. And so as I was walking, I said a prayer in my heart to God. And some people maybe don't see that as a classical prayer, 
but it is that a prayer can be said anywhere it can be said in your room it can be said as you're walking to work it can be said as you're sitting you know in the bus or on the train it can be said in the bathroom what matters is your heart and your intention and that you're willing and putting the effort in to communicate with God because God can see everything he knows everything that's happening he knows the situation that you're in he knows that I was late for work that day and that I still made the effort to pray and that that was the only possible location for me to say the prayer he's not going to reject or deny your prayer because you are walking down a busy street in fact i think he will be so happy that you put in that effort to pray to him even in that situation that's what counts and that's what matters there's a scripture that i like in matthew um it's matthew chapter 26 verse 41 it says watch and pray that you enter not into temptation the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak i really like this scripture because it helps us understand the importance of prayer and why we should be praying the first part of the scripture speaks about entering into temptation guys there's temptation everywhere all around us from the movies that we watch music that we listen to every single corner that we turn most of the time we'll find that temptation because satan is there and he wants to draw us away from god so in order to be protected from those forces and from those temptations we need to pray so that we can have that protection with us the second part of the scripture speaks about how the, the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak and that is so true sometimes we you know we're laying in bed and this happens to me all the time <laughs> most of the time i'm laying in bed and i know that i need to pray but i'm so tired and i'm just like oh, i'll pray like in five minutes or i'll pray in 10 minutes and then 10 minutes turns into hours because i've fallen asleep and i didn't pray even though i wanted to pray my body just didn't <laughs> and that's just something that i need to work on but this just shows that we're human and we're not perfect as much as we try we're just not perfect and we're going to make these mistakes but that's why we're here that's why life is a learning process and we're going to continue to learn and try to improve ourselves our whole life so don't feel bad when you don't get something right or if you don't pray at a certain time or if you fall asleep without praying which happens before i end this video i would really just like to share my experience and my testimony with prayer I sound like a preacher now but <laughs> prayer is so important to me i don't think that i would be where i am right now in my life if it wasn't for prayer praying has helped me overcome so many different challenges that i have faced um, and it's also opened so many doors for me there have been times when i've been protected from certain things and i've looked back and realized wow that was god and also I've been able to build that relationship with God as his child because I'm able to speak to him like I would speak to my father um, he knows my dreams I tell him my dreams my hopes my challenges things I struggle with things I would like to achieve you know in my life things that I need help with and so much more prayer has blessed me it's really blessed my life I don't think I would be where I am right now if it wasn't for prayer. There are so many invisible forces around us that we cannot see and we cannot be able to fight those forces on our own. We need God to help us. We need him to fight our battles for us. I would love to hear your experiences and thoughts when it comes to prayer. Um, I think in a world with so much negativity, I think it's great to have a space where we can have positive and uplifting discussions. I'd love to end this video off with another scripture. This scripture is in Luke chapter 11 verse 9 and it says, And I say unto you, ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day.